And what's number two? Number two is I have three things on it. Well, you can't keep adding in things. Yeah, no, All right, go. This is what, like I have one more thing after this. Okay, go ahead. It's like you. You have to tell them. It's like you. No, I have to tell you this. Tell them. Um, uh, <laughs> he's gonna make Doug laugh too. Okay, go ahead. It's like you're talking in Spanish. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm talking in Spanish. So he said. What do you know about talking in Spanish? That's funny. Spanish, that's not Spanish. It sounds like a Spanish song, though. Like, whatever. Anyways. Uh, the third is, um, I gave you enough time to, so I can show you is <laughs> Sharks eating pizza. Whoa, Sharks eating ah, pizza. Shark. Pizza Sharks. This All is right. a hammer shark. Sit down. There we go. Sharks eating pizza. You got a hammer shark there. He has a shark shirt today. So today, you know, all the time I always wear a sweatshirt. I wear a college sweatshirt from some of the schools that I've been to, that I performed at, where I've went there. I've made people laugh so hard that they've done what, Kinston? They peed in their pants and cried. They peed in their pants and they cried. But it's good pee and good crying, okay? It's not, and anything's, it's nothing gross, all right? It's just because people laugh so hard. They're like, ah, oh, <laughs> whoop, I think I peed on myself, right? I've made people do that from laughing so hard, okay? So I usually show you college sweatshirts, but today I didn't wear a college sweatshirt. Today I wore a t-shirt and I wore the t-shirt of the high school that I went to, which was Milton High School, which is in Milton, Massachusetts. How cool is that? I decided to rep my high school today instead of uh, wearing a college shirt. You wore that before, I remember. I never wore it on the show. Uh, Did I? He always thinks I wear everything on the show already. I'm not sure. Kinson says I wore it already. I don't think I have, but all right? you could have. Because I remember you doing so much. Hey, hello. What are, you, what are you doing? What is this? What is this? Help! Somebody help me! Ah! What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you get your... Can you, there's a hand in my chest. I have a chest hand. I have a shoulder hand. Ah! Get that away from me. No, 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 no. You're going to stretch my shirt too much. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys. So... We have an awesome secret for you. You know we always have awesome secrets for you every day. We like to share a secret that we know will help your life when you're little or when you're big or in between or it doesn't matter what size you are. It's just a secret that's going to help you during your life, okay, in your life. So we're going to tell you a secret right now. We want all the kids to get up, come really close. If you're looking at a phone, if you're looking at a phone right now, bring your phone parents, in really close. Parents, like one of my parents. Yeah, if you have a phone, come really close to the phone. If you have an iPad, look at that, or, or any kind of tablet, get really close to your face. And if you're looking at me on TV, if you have it set up on the TV, get really close. Here you go. What I wanted to tell you was... Ah! <laughs> Dad, look what I was doing. Yeah, you know we were going to do that. But you didn't know I was going to do it. <laughs> you didn't know he was going to do that, right? We always do that when we tell a secret. We're silly. But, but you know, but you know, sometimes we really tell you the secret. And this time we are gonna tell you an awesome secret for you if today. You do, yeah, we do have to sing our secret song. That's right. Because the secret we're gonna tell you today, we have secrets. Whisper in my ear secrets. secrets. Now my vision's clear. Secrets. Use them anywhere. Secret, 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 secrets. Whisper in my ear secrets. Now my vision's clear. Secrets. Use them anywhere. Secret, 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 secret. Hey. I was running out of breath. So like, why can't you stop? 
Gritty, 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 gritty. All right. I know it's a lot of secrets. We tell, we say a lot of secrets. All right. So here's the deal. Here's the real secret today. This is something that we think will help you for all of your life. Ready? Your brain. Here's your secret. Your brain is so, 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 so smart. You can put. You can you can pack so much knowledge inside your brain. So when I say that to you, I want to tell you to learn everything. Learn everything you can learn. Yes, you won't be awesome at everything, but you'll be really good at a lot of stuff. There's, you're never going to pack too much stuff in your brain. You know, sometimes you hear someone they're like, ah, I can't take anymore. My brain's turned off. It's just too much stuff in my head. Oh, I don't think I can learn anymore. You can. You can learn a lot. And there's, there's all this science that's come out and it says that, you know what? The more you use your brain, the, the better your brain is, the stronger it is, the longer it lasts for, for a really long time. You can be really old and still have the best brain in the world if you use it and learn stuff and pack stuff in there. And it, it just, I think it's so cool because think about it. You, if, you think you're, if you think your dad's smart, if you think your best friend's smart, if you think- smart, they love it. If you think if you think all these people around you are smart, if you think like, oh, this person knows everything and this person knows everything. And I watched this show on TV and that person knows everything. How about if you just took everything that they know and put it in your brain? Now, you know what every you know what all of those people know. And then you can still put more stuff in there. So always use your brain. Try to learn tons and tons of stuff. Because I swear to you, you can fit it in there. Your brain's never going to be like, I've had too much. I have to turn off. Now, you can't learn everything at one time. That's when you have to give your brain a break. You can't just sit there for like 20 hours and be like, I just learned everything. You're not a computer, okay? Your brain is actually smarter than a computer. It's it's awesome. Well, but, so. but, but, like, all right, monkeys are better banana peels than us. That's true. They can peel bananas better than that. Monkeys peel bananas from the bottom. Did you know that? Most people peel a banana from the top. Like we grab the stem coming out of the banana and we're like, there's the banana. And you open it. Monkeys actually turn a banana at the bottom and they peel it from the little side of the banana. And it's more effective. It's, it's awesome. Because you know why they're better at peeling bananas? Because that's what they eat. That's their favorite food. They eat bananas all the time. So you should, we should all be peeling Bananas that way, but instead we're like, no, we're human and we like to do it our way. We like to grab the stem and pull it off by the stem and smush half of the banana at the top. <sighs> so silly. That's what we do. And that's annoying. And you still can crush your banana. Claw! <laughs> Just so you know, this is a crazy thing. It can help you with your secret. Okay. Oh, you have another secret? No. Oh. It can help you. With your oh, with your secret, yeah. What I just said, you meant? Or yeah. you saying something else? It can help you with, with your secret. Like, okay. With the secret. Okay. I. This is crazy. Okay. So I put every Koi stories in my mind, even when I do it. So I still have it in my mind. Okay. And it just, and it just lays like. Okay, this goes here, this goes here, <laughs> and it figures out where it has to go. I never know what he's gonna say. But whatever comes out is usually right. He's, he, he's saying the right thing. He has everything packed in his brain. He's learned how we do the show. He does the show flawlessly. It's just, it, he's telling you the right thing. You can pack so many things in your brain. Now. I can remember the first show. Now. I know. I remember the first show, too. Now, listen. Here's the thing. If you are just joining us now, it is time for us to do questions. And we're going to sing the question song in just a second. But we're going to give you a chance to get into the Zoom link. If you want to join us on Zoom right now to answer some questions with us, go to the original post. You're going to see a link there that says join us on Zoom. Click that link, and then you can come into the show. And here's what happens when you join us on the show. You, I ask you three questions. If you get all three questions correct, what happens, Kinston? You get the bonus question. You get the bonus question. If you get the bonus question correct, what happens, Kinston? You get... A ten dollar gift card from me from Amazon, <laughs> or you get tickets to come see me at another show. You get tickets for your comedy parents show. to come see me at a comedy show. Okay, so now we have questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. Questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. Questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. We have some questions for you. Oh, questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. Questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. Questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. We have some questions for you. I didn't hear you singing. Come on. We got to give them time. Let's go. Questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. 
Questions for you today? Bam, bam. Questions for you today? Bam, bam. We have some questions for you. All right, let's check it out. Everyone has to sing it. So, like, wait, we gave them enough time. We gave them enough time. We told you guys to join us in Zoom right now. We're going to give you about, uh, let's give them like, we'll give you, literally, we'll give you 10 more seconds. People are starting to fill up in the Zoom right now. We're going to randomly pick somebody. We'll give you 10 more seconds to get in here because we got some questions for you today. Bam, bam. Questions for you today. Bam, bam. Questions for you today. Bam, bam. We have some questions for you. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's get into the Zoom. Yeah. So what happens if we hit our Zoom link? I don't know, but we're going to hit somebody else's. All right, I'm picking here randomly. I'm scrolling through. I'm scro oh, I'm scrolling through the names. Let's see who we got. Boom. Did I admit somebody? Okay, somebody's coming in. I don't know who this is. Let's see who this is here. All right, who's joining us today? They're taking a minute to come in here. She's smiling already. She's already smiling. She's muted. The, the camera's off. You're on Corey's stories. You have to move your mouth. That's just a picture. Hello. Hello. What you doing? Hello. You're on the show. You have to come and join us on Zoom. I think someone's sitting there like, I don't know. Are we, are we in there? Are we not in there? Are we in there? Are we not in there? Hello, Sarah Ann Rothberg. You are on Corey's stories. Come on through. Encore story, so what are you waiting for? We're waiting for you. Let's unmute it. Let's see what we got here. They got the camera off. Let's see what's going Maybe on here. They, don't want to get seen. they have to be seen. Hello, you're on the show. Um, can we see your face, please? We'll give them about please. we're gonna hey other people can join in now. We're gonna give them about 10 more seconds to get their act together over there. Sarah Ann Rockford, you are on Corey Stories. You have to unmute it. And you have to put the uh, put your picture on. Maybe we have Turn to your camera it. on. Maybe we have to unmute it. No, no, she has to do it. There we go. Hello, you are slowing down the show. You're bringing the show way down slow. Bringing the show really slow. Okay. All right, Sarah Ann Rothberg. You're going to get the five count from Kinson. If you're not starting to come in in five seconds, you are out of here. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, you are out of the show. You said three. You said three. All right, let's bring somebody else in. We have, uh, let's, let's bring this person in. Let's see who this is. All right. That was so we had a bunch of people in there. I don't know what happened to them. I feel bad. There we go. Who's this? Wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, who is this? Maybe this is oh, this is this is Franny and Angelo. <laughs> All right, hold on. We're gonna admit. We're gonna bring in two people with you, Angelo. Let's see. Angelo. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this crazy today because we're the Zoom is filling up today. Let's see who we got in here. Oh, this, we got a performer too. Slide up in your seat. Let's get ready. Come on. <laughs> Oh, this is this is Franny and Angela. All right, so you guys have to turn off. Uh, you have to mute me. Right, hold on. We're gonna admit. We're gonna bring two people with you, Angela. Let's see. Somebody's doubling up on the sound. Hey, you're on the show. Zoom is filling up today. Let's see who we got in here. Oh, this, we got a performer. So somebody too. has me. Somebody has me. Uh, oh, this is this. Have your volume on Facebook. All right, so you guys have to turn off. Uh, you have to mute me. We're muted. Okay. See, so up hey, you're on the show. Zoom is filling up today. Let's see who we got. Hey. Oh, hey. got you guys have to fix it on yours. All right, Angelo, just a second. We're muted. I know it's not you guys. It's uh, all right, you guys there now? There we go. All right. No, you don't have to mute your sound so you so I can't hear you. You have to mute. Um, you have to mute me on Facebook so it doesn't so it doesn't double back. Because I gotta be able to talk to you. All right, you guys there now? So just turn me down on Facebook. Got it? Hold on, wait for them to unmute. Once they unmute us, hey Angelo. What? How you doing? Good. Everybody, that's Angelo. Angelo's been on the show before. 
the way this is going to work, Angelo, once they get themselves all situated there, um, like you the, guys are going to all be a team, okay? It's like we're both at a studio right now. I know. It looks like we're all at a cool studio right now. Are you guys ready to go down there on the bottom? Hold on. They're almost there. I have them there. Oh, Angelo, you're going to have some help today. You guys are all going to work together. As soon as they get there, or we're, we're going to try to get their audio and their uh, everything all set here. Well, if it doesn't work, we might have to play. Different. I know. We might have to We might have to bring them in next time. Let's see what happens. All you, all you guys have to do is turn the volume off on Facebook, and then you're good to go. for, And then we'll be on Zoom together. Angelo, how's your day going? Uh, Are you guys there now? Yes. Yeah. Hi. Hey, I can hear you. How are you? Good. Good. All right. This one person just keeps disappearing. He's like a ghost man or something. Is that a real person next to you or is that just uh, like a, a ghost next to you? It's not. It's my brother. Oh, is he? Is your brother a ghost? <laughs> Yeah. He keeps he keeps coming and leaving. Well, he's being a ghost too. You guys are very ghostly. <laughs> Angelo. Ghostly what? the ghost. Um, you said you had a great day today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Welcome back to the show. We're glad you're on. Ghostly the ghost. All right. Let's see. What are your names on the bot? What's your name? Arden. Arden. And what's your name? Easton. Easton. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys try to stay in the camera so you don't distract people too much, Arden and Easton, okay? Okay. All right, how old are you? Six. Four, Four and six. That is awesome. Okay, Arden and Easton. Very close, huh? Okay, Angelo. What? Angelo? What? Okay, he's fixing the window there. Come on over. There we go. That's much better. Everybody has camera problems, audio problems. This is so crazy today. <laughs> You guys ready to get it cracking? Definitely. Are you guys ready to get it cracking? Do you know what that means? Are you guys ready for some questions? Cracking. All right. You guys know, all three of you know that we got some questions for you today. Bam, bam. Questions for you today. Bam, bam. Questions for you today. Bam, bam. We have some questions for you. All right. Here's how the game works. We're going to ask you questions. You guys are all going to work together. If all of you get the questions correct, okay, you're all you're a team. If you all get the questions correct, then you win the prize, okay? You two together at the bottom, Arden and Easton, it's going to be one prize for both of you, and it'll be one prize for Angelo, and you guys are all a team. But if anybody gets anything wrong, you don't get the prize. Is everybody okay with the rules? Yes. And don't let your parents help you. Oh, and what's, the number, what's the number one rule, okay, Kinston? Don't let your parents help you. Don't be sneaky. Hello, that point. Angelo, we're trying to talk to you right now, but you are talking to other people. Oh. Uh, Tell Angelo the rules one more time. Don't let your parents help you and don't be sneaky. If you let your parents help you or if you're sneaky, you lose. And, and okay, here we go. Why did you slap me? I didn't slap you. I tapped your leg. Here we go. All right, here we go. Yes. Question number one. This question is going to be for, wait, it's Arden and Easton, right? Who's Arden? I'm sorry. Okay, Easton. How old, you said you're five or six? Six. Angelo, how old are you? I'm six. Oh, six, six, four. Knocking on your door. Trying to answer the questions. Can't answer them no more. Are you ready? All right. That was a funny uh, <laughs> Easton, here you go. Question number one. Fix this sentence, Easton. Fix this sentence. All right. There are 15 geeses at the lake. There are 15 geeses at the lake. Fix the sentence. Whatever's wrong with that sentence, I want you to fix it and say it to me correctly. There are 15 geeses at the lake. There's 15 geeses at the lake. Mm -hmm. Does that sound right to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Angelo, does that question sound right? Does that sentence sound right to you? Okay, that's okay. We're going to correct that sentence right now. That sentence should say there are 15 geese at the lake. 
You always, when there's more than one geese, you say, when there's more than one goose, you say geese, but you never say geeses. Okay? So we got the first one wrong. No, that's one goose. There's one goose. There's two geese, three geese, five geese, 25 geese, 317 geese, but there's never geeses. So that's okay. You got the first question wrong, but because I'm still going to give you guys three more questions to answer. You ready? Oh, they said they're not ready. Let's click them off. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Five, four, okay, here we go. Two, one. Answer this question. What's seven plus five plus eight? What's seven plus five plus eight? Stop looking for help. Seven. You guys can work together. Easton, Arden, Angelo. Seven plus five plus eight. If you know the answers, write them down in the comments on Facebook. Seven plus five plus eight. And there's one more plus that's coming. Seven plus five plus eight plus ten. If your dad or your mom tell you to answer, Angelo, you will get it wrong. Wrong, wrong because you're coming. You don't know? It's okay if you don't know. Easton, do you know? No. No? Do you want to try? You guys can try to use all your fingers. You have a lot of fingers there together that you guys could use. Five. You have your fingers, and, and Angelo has his fingers. Uh, how would you tell me how you would figure this out? How? Twenty. Twenty is correct. Plus ten. <laughs> Easton, where'd you go? Oh, Easton, <laughs> Twenty plus ten. What's twenty plus ten? It's eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's somebody's bedtime. Twenty and add ten. 20. Count. Okay. One and ten. It's okay, guys. Take your time. Hurry up. Take your time. Hurry up. If you have twenty, then start adding ten more. Go ahead. You can use your fingers, guys. You guys got to work together. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. One. Twenty. One. Twenty-two. There we go. There we go, Angelo. Twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. 30. Hey! You got it right. Ah, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. You got it right. You got it right. Angelo. All right, here we go. Got another question for you guys. How many sides does an octagon have? Octagon. How many sides? How many sides does an octagon have? Eight. 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 Hey, Easton. Easton. Oh, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. You got it right. You got it right. Easton. All right, here we go. Third question. This should be something that your mom can't help you with or your dad can't help you with. Nobody can help you with the answer to this question because they won't know right away in the time that I'm going to give you. What do flies do at night? What do flies do at night? You have five seconds to answer the question, so there's no time to Google off camera. What do flies do at night? Four, three, two, one. What's your answer? Sleep. Sleep. Sleep? You think flies <laughs> sleep at night? You are right! Oh, he's dead! You got it right. <laughs> you got it right. Ah, you got it right. You got it right. You got it right. You got it right. He's dead. Yeah, flies sleep at night. Sometimes they sleep. Sometimes flies sleep, they'll sleep, uh, then when they get really tired, they don't like to lay on the ground because other things eat them that crawl around on the ground. So flies will sleep on your screen in your house. They find whatever area they can sleep that's kind of up high, and they go to sleep at night. Or, or they might sleep on your roof. Yeah, they'll sleep on your roof. If they get tired, they're like, I want to go on the roof. I'm so tired. There's nothing up here. And they just go to sleep on the roof. They go, <laughs> and they rub their little, their little arms together, and they go, <laughs> <laughs> there was a weird fly. <laughs> as soon as the sun starts going down, that's when the flies are like, it's time to get out of here. It's getting late. And then the flies have to sleep, 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 sleep. I know, I was doing that for the flies. All right, guys, thank you for being on the show. You did awesome today. All right, next time you come on, I want you to get all four questions correct. Easton and Arden, who's in the shadows, awesome job today. Thank you for being here, Angela. You did an awesome job. And, and thank you. 
ghost, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Angelo. <laughs> Bye. 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 We'll see you. Enjoy yeah. the rest of the show. Bye. 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 That was good. That was good. That was good. I'm happy. They did good. They did good. Once they got going, everybody, once they got going, right? Yeah, because. But everybody was being honest. They didn't know the answer. If you don't know the answer, you don't know the answer. I hope you know the answers at home. All right. Did you know what it is right now? Wait, what? Wait, I forgot. What you I forgot what know. happens right now? Oh. Right now is bug time, bug time, bug time. Boogie, 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 bug time, bug time, bug time. Boogie, 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 bug time, bug time, bug time. Boogie, 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 boogie. All right, we have a really awesome book for you today. Kinston, can you read what that name of that book is? What do you think it is? This is like a Yes! Ooh. We are reading about snakes! Ah, I'm scared, I'm scared. Don't be scared. We're reading about snakes today. We have a snake book for you. Are you ready for the snake? All right. I, I, if you're scared of snakes, this is a great book for you. And if you love snakes, this is a great book for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy snakes! Yeah, let's see, let's see. Whew, get comfortable. I want to get comfortable. You're the kind of kid who likes to wrestle squid or or battle in the bathtub with a shark. In no uncertain terms, you love the squirms of worms or hunting after werewolves in the dark. From everything we hear, you haven't any fear. Well, hardly any fear, for goodness sakes. There's only one exception. Now, don't attempt deception. Let there be no misconception. Snakes! Whoa. That's scary. Tangled like spaghetti, slithery and sweaty, nesting in a heap beneath your bed. Can you feel your mattress shaking? Slowly they're awaking, and it's months and months and months since they have fed. With a horrifying rustle of cartilage and muscle, very, very slowly they unwind. Tongues abruptly, tongues abruptly flickering, whispering and snickering. They wriggle off to see what they can find. They slink down the stairs, coil up in chairs. An anaconda oozes down the hall. With the Herculean grass and a multicolored asp, nonchalantly shimmies up the wall. Did something brush your hair? Perhaps a waft of air? Or is it something breathing softly through its nose? You can feel it in your ear, hideously near. Then something heavy slides across your toes. With dread, you lift your head, and circling your bed is a sight to give a superhero shakes. Swaying oh so gently, watching you intently, a hundred thousand salivating snakes! Reticulated belly snakes, sea snakes and tree snakes, peanut butter jelly snakes, hyperoptic flea snakes, agonistic rattlesnakes, wary snakes and hairy snakes, Dragonistic battle snakes and very, very scary snakes. The snakes begin to roam through the chambers of your home like a pyroclastic streams of melted crayon, searching every nook, cabinet, corner, and book for anything alive that they can prey on. Oh no. It's getting scary right now. Oh no, oh no, here we go. A feisty fertilance, slithering through your pants, then falls asleep inside your mother's purse. A speckled anaconda steals the family Honda and races down the driveway in reverse. Oh no. A skink inserts her snoutlet in an open kitchen outlet. Her body starts to phosphorus with light. There's a momentary riot as all the others try it. Soon all the snakes like neon tubes ignite. Serpents madly wrangling, upside down dangling, bungee jumping off your house's gutter. Cowering in boxes, tangled up in socks, buried in the necks and peanut butter. Snakes as drapes as measuring tapes, as animated cleaners for your ears. Snakes as garden hoses for tripping hairy noses. Snakes as rubber bands and spears. Snakes as playground swings and snakes as teething rings as thermometers and nifty stethoscopes. Snakes as clarinets and snakes as bayonets for tug of wear. Snakes as giant ropes. 
They've been no ra- they've been no snake attacks, so you've started to relax up above the mayhem in your lair. When your skin breaks out in bumps, your respiratory your respiration jumps, and something deep within you says, "Be aware." You open up the shutter. Your heartbeat starts to flutter for only for the one and only thing that you can spy. Resolutely staring at you, absolutely glaring at you, larger than the tabletop. It's an eye! It's this giant jumping boa, as big as Krakatoa. Your adrenaline abruptly overboils. Repeatedly it blinks, it stretches out and unkinks, and then it wraps you up until its coils. You feel a faint restriction of serpentine constriction in moments you can barely breathe or cough. You face a scary issue. Is the boa going to squish you? It is impossible to yank the serpent off. Even though you're bony, he clings like macaroni. It feels like you're about to be deceased. Then he hisses in your ear, I truly love you, dear. And someday, maybe you'll be released. (laughs) So what did it do? That was pretty cool. It didn't end up hurting him. How awesome was that? The snake just wanted to play, and it really liked them. The snake wanted to play. This book was called Snakes by David Greenberg, illustrated by Lynn Mum Singer. The book was written by David Greenberg, illustrated by Lynn Mum Singer. What an awesome right. book that was. So All right. You know, I, I Did that watching. scare you? Yes. Okay. I was over it. That book was really cool. Yeah. All right. Can I show you something? Show me what? We... Show them. Show them what? What are we Um, showing them? So, this came from my school. We Uh need to watch it. We watched it. So now I can show you it on Corey Stories. What are you showing us? Oh! That's my blue owl. If you if you watch the show, you know Kitson has a lot of owls. He sleeps with owls. That's his thing. And so this is his school owl. And what's that school owl's name? Blue owl. <laughs> Squirrel blue owl. <laughs> That's his owl. The owl's name is Blue Owl. No, you call it Pika Blue. No. I thought you called it Owl Pika Blue. I had the wrong name all this time. <laughs> all right. Guys, you know what it's time for right now. What is it time for, Kesson? Hey, I forgot. Jokes! Yes, it's time for jokes. But before we do we start our jokes, we're gonna bring on our special guest. His name is Sam What? Do you remember? Our special guest is awesome, very good friend of mine, hilarious, all around the city of Boston. His name is Sam Ike. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Ike is coming to the show. Start clapping right now and go crazy for Sam Ike. He's coming with the jokes. Oh, let's go, let's go. He's here. All right, we're waiting for Sam right now. Sam's coming in. Oh, Sam, what's up, Sam? He's connecting his audio right now. Hey. What's going on, man? Hey, how's it going, buddy? All How right. are you? <laughs> Welcome to the, Sam, you know what time it is right now, Sam? What time is it? It's time for jokes, Sam. Let's go. All the kids stand up right now. Oh, let's go. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. 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 <laughs> Ow, ow, Let's go to kids. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. 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 Ow, 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 Thank you, Sam, for being on the show. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank you. All right, how many jokes you got for us today, Sam? I have I have three I have three jokes. Three that's jokes. Enough. That's enough joke. All right, he said the producer said that's enough, so we're good. <laughs> All right, good, good. We'll we'll see. We'll see. All right. <laughs> All right. Um <It's> funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh why why does Cinderella not go running? Why does Cinderella no. not go running? Why? Because she's only got one shoe. 
Jokes, 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 it's time for jokes, 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 it's time for jokes, 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 it's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. Ow, bum bum bum, ow, bum bum bum, ow, bum bum bum, ow. Yes, Sam, let's go, what else you got? All right, all right, all right, I got another one, I got another one for you, all right. So, why, why does Cinderella not join the dance team? Because she's only got one shoe. Oh, she still only has one shoe. Oh. Jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. Ow. 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 Let's go. All right, Sam. All right. All right. All right. Here's the last one. Here's the last one. All right. Why is it that Cinderella's never played soccer? Why? Because she always misses the ball. She's got one shoe. <laughs> oh, the one shoe Cinderella. Jokes, jokes. The call jokes, it's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. Ow. Bum, bum, bum. Ow. <laughs> yes, Sam Ike. The one show Cinderella was here today. We appreciate you being here, yeah. Sam. You know, he had his Cinderella jokes, right? Hey, yeah. Sam, do you hang with us while we close the show? We're about to close the show right now. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going to do one joke and then we're going to close the show. We're going to do one real quick. Let's see what we got. Nope, we're going to do one joke because we already did three. Sam did three. We'll do one more. So this joke came in from uh, this joke came in from Cam, from Cameron Blair. Cam, I thought you were gonna say Cam Blair. No, I said Cameron Blair. This joke was sent in from Cameron Blair. I don't know if he made it up or if he found it somewhere, but this is what he sent in. He said, "Why was the cow so good at kung fu?" <laughs> what was that? <laughs> why was the cow so good at kung fu? Hmm. Why? Because he had a lot of moves. <laughs> ah! <laughs> jokes, 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 it's time for jokes, 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 it's time for jokes, 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 it's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. <laughs> Ow, the bum bum bum. Ow, the bum bum bum. Ow, the bum bum bum. Ow, yeah! Listen, listen, listen. My man Sam Mike came through. We appreciate Sam Mike being here. Sam, here's what happens right now. We know people on the West Coast are probably getting ready to eat dinner. Maybe they're just coming in from outside playing. Maybe they're getting ready to take the showers before they have dinner. That's what's happening right now. But we are on the East Coast. Hold on. What's going on, Kitson? What? Why? What do you want to say? I want a joke. Huh? Do you have a joke? Yeah. Go ahead. What's your joke? Sorry, we have one more joke. Go ahead. What's your All joke? right. No, say it. I didn't know you had another joke. Say the joke. I didn't know. Go ahead. Say your joke. What time? Come on. You sure you don't want to do one? Do you have one already? Did we talk about it? Huh? Just Hi. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> why would owl, why would every owl say boo, boo, boo every night? Why is that? Why? Because the owl for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, kids who just listen to me, he goes, I made that up right now. <laughs> listen, it's okay. Your kids are going to make up jokes too at home. If you make up jokes to your parents, make them up. It's okay. Your kids are going to make up jokes. Let them say the jokes. The jokes are going to get better and better that they say because you're feeding their creative mind. Let them make up jokes. Let them say what they want. Kids have just said that joke. I, I, it makes sense. It makes sense. They are owls. They do say who. They say who. <laughs> Cinderella didn't have any shoes on. She couldn't do anything. She was missing one shoe the whole time, right? So here's what happens. If you're living on the West Coast, maybe you're coming in the shower because it's 100 degrees out there and you're like, I'm so hot, I need to shower now and get ready for dinner. But we're on the East Coast. So, yeah, so we're on the East Coast. So you know what that means? You know, your parents are done with you for the day. Your parents had enough of you today. They, wanna, they just want to sit down and they want to relax. 
right? They want to drink soda water. They want to drink soda yeah. water. That's what they yeah. want to do. They want to drink soda. They want to drink water. They want to drink grape juice <laughs> in a glass. That's what they want to have right now. They want glasses of grape juice. And That's they what they're passing. And, and, and they have to take your medicine. Yeah. With you not around. With That's you right. not around. That's what they, and they want you to lay down and give them a break because all day they've been listening to you say their name. Mom, dad, mom, mom, dad, mom, dad, mom, mom, dad, mom. Help me, help me. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, my tooth hurts. I think my tooth is loose. Is my tooth loose? I think my tooth is loose. Is it going to fall out? Oh, is no. it too fairy going to come? My tooth is My knee hurts. I spake my knee. Oh, I'm bleeding. Can you kiss it? I have a boo-boo. I have a boo-boo. I have a boo-boo. My head hurts. My eyes are blinking too much. My eyes and my allergies. Do you have another tissue? I'm going to use a thousand tissues because that's what I do all the time. This is what you've done to them all day. And all day you can I do they're like, oh what a day, what a day. That's how they're gonna feel. Oh what a day is how they're gonna feel. So here's what I want you to know. If, if your parents are waiting for me to put you <laughs> tonight, I need you to know. I'm putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na. Putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na. Putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na. Time for you to sleep, 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 sleep. Bed tonight. Na na na. Thank you, Sam Mike, for being on the show. Bed tonight. Na 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 na. Putting you to bed. You guys can catch Sam Mike down at the hideout. Time for you to sleep, 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 sleep. Bed tonight. When we can all be around each other again, we're gonna all have fun. See so many shows that this guy puts on in the city. You will not be disappointed. Bed tonight. Na 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 na. Time oh, for you to sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> Thank you for having me. One more time. Yeah, everybody, we <laughs> gonna go to sleep me. on this one. Here we go. Bed tonight. Na 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 na. Let's all go to sleep together. Bed tonight. Na na na. Here we go. Time for you to sleep, 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 sleep.